Hi guys, Mary Meet. I know it's a little late, but I wanted to share with you uh, the last Sabbath box that I got uh, for Llamas. Uh, unfortunately, spoiler alert, it's the last one that I will be getting. I saw the, I've already done the unboxing video part. I'm just adding this in here. Um, yeah, the, apparently they, they have decided to close up and stop, so... I'm not sure if their shop is still open for now or not, but um, I will still leave a description of what's in the box below. Um, but yeah, so instead, um, my friend has convinced me to do the Witch's Moon subscription box because I really wanted to finish out the year with a subscription box, um, but... I guess, uh, since this one didn't work out, uh, she thought it was perfect timing because she really wanted me to do, try this new box. So I'll be doing an un unboxing of The Witch's Moon. Um, I'm not quite sure what to expect with that one. It's not a Sabbath one, so it's just a monthly uh, one for um, ritual purposes. I think it's more like Esbat than anything. Um, but I'm not quite sure, so I guess I'll find out. <laughs> but I just thought I'd share with you, and like I said, I know this is a little late. I have been working nonstop, so much overtime at work that I haven't had a moment to sit down and go through this video, so um, I will share it now. All right. Okay, we're back with the Sabbath box. I know I've been here for a while, but uh, I'm just going to dive in. This is for uh, Lamas or Lunasad. So we have our themed paper that tells us cheat sheet and also letting us know apparently that this is going to be the very last box that we'll be receiving. So sadly, this is the last one. Shall we open? Let's open. a lot in here. Uh, there's a home blessing, pine, cedar, and sage, a loose smudge blend. That looks neat. I'm gonna open this. Okay, you do it off camera. <laughs> All right. Okay, so it looks like a little, oh, it looks like a little bowl. I think it's quartz, I'm not sure. I'll have to look in the cheat sheet afterward. Let me do the book. I do not have this one. I don't think I've ever seen this one before. So, um, yeah, I will like flipping through this, see. I actually kind of want to do a little uh, Pagan book reviews, so that would be great. And I'll open this. I like the key. Oh, what's this pussy bee on it? it smells good. More in here. Sabbath box, sacred salts, black salt, protection, vanishing, repelling, made with coconut shell and charcoal. More. Pink salt, love, friendship, romance, made with pure Himalayan pink salt. Dead Sea Salt, Rejuvenation, uh, Consecration, Purification, made with pure imported 
Dead Sea Salt. Well, this feels like it's finally empty. Is this a... I don't know what that is. I'm not quite sure. I'll have to look it up. The, the word is just escaping me. Um, yeah, I'll look it up. Just I don't want to state, just in case I, I think I know what this is, but I want to make sure that I know what it is before I state it. So um, if I forget to mention it in the video, I will be putting it in the link uh, in the description below the video. Um, this looks like... Do we get a crystal? Oh, I might go with this. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not sure. This is where looking at the chart would be helpful. But I think this is a description of the, this. So I'll have to look. I'm kind of curious. Okay, this is, feels like foam. So we have our hearth lore at the bottom of the box. Oops. Um, hearth spirits. So that's very appropriate. Um, Lamas is like the first. Um, it's the first harvest for for this year, and uh, hearth magic is really very popular. Basically, with any any harvest. Hearth magic would be pretty appropriate. This foam. <laughs> Must be something very breakable. Hopefully it's arrived well. So that's a nice ha wall hanging. That will look great in my um, pagan room. So that I think is pretty much what's in the box. I'm going to go ahead, look through the um, cheat sheet, and take some pictures for you all. And I will be right back.